How are we feeling today, Lakers fans? One win away from a trip to the Western Conference Finals. It is crazy to believe how far this team has come compared to what they looked like just a few short months ago. If you watched my last video, then you saw where I discussed how unless the Warriors are able to make some drastic adjustments, then this series is going to be over sooner rather than later. Well, the Warriors definitely made some adjustments in Game 4, but it still wasn't enough. So in today's video, I'm breaking down exactly why this Lakers team is such a nightmare matchup for Golden State, and how the Lakers are exposing the Warriors' greatest weakness. Be sure to like and subscribe for some great basketball content. I post a few times a week about all kinds of NBA topics. So let's get into today's video. And it seems like a different person is always stepping up for this LA team. They are just so deep. I said in a previous video that if the Lakers are going to win this matchup, then you're going to need more people to get it going besides just LeBron and Anthony Davis. This game, you got to give the flowers to Austin Reeves, Dennis Schroeder, and Lonnie Walker the fourth. I know the other three Lonnie Walkers were at home cheering him on. LeBron with the ball behind the three-point line here. There's Lonnie calling for it. He's not scared of the moment, and I like how LeBron is showing his trust in his teammates. He says, you want the shot, Lonnie? Okay, take it then. Give him three. Not stopping there. Draymond with the wild pass to Jack Nicholson in the front row. Lonnie picks it up, going the other way. Hey, Jack, loved you and all about Schmidt. Lays it in on the other side. And now, Lakers down two. LeBron driving into a pack of Warriors defenders. Help! Save me, Lonnie! He gets the ball, gives a little shimmy shake to Steph Curry, pops a jumper right in his face. And one more, because Lonnie is basically the new face of the NBA right now. LeBron knows he's feeling it, passes it over to Walker. Curry says, oh no, I know what's coming. Same result. Curry looks back at Lonnie like, who in the world is this guy? Number four in the fourth quarter in game four. When it was all said and done, Lonnie had 15 points in that final period, and the entire Warriors team had 17. That's an insane stat. Lonnie Walker had one of the best games of his life, and I'm glad he got some run here. He is the definition of staying ready when your number is called. Give him the game ball and comp his meal at Mr. Chow's while you're at it. When you look at the four games the Lakers and Warriors have played, the Lake Show is showing that they are the better team. And you may be saying, well, what about game two where the Warriors had that blowout? Well, you have to remember that Golden State shot the absolute cover off the ball in that game. 50% from the field and from three. They had six players in double figures and they played like the defending champions. The Lakers, for whatever reason, just didn't have it that night. AD had a bad game. The team as a whole shot very poorly and they weren't getting to the line, which is the recipe for easy points for this Lakers team. Or you know what, maybe they were just happy getting a road win in Game 1 in Golden State and coasted a little in Game 2. Whatever it was, you can't read too much into it because these last two games have shown the Lakers' depth wasn't a fluke. It is sustainable. The Warriors shooting like they did in Game 2 isn't. And Golden State is going to have to find someone to put the ball in the hoop besides their usual suspects. Jordan Poole, I am looking at you in particular. This is a guy who averaged 20 points in the regular season, but is averaging only 8 points against the Lakers in this series. In Game 4, he scored as many points as you or I did. I don't know if it's the bright lights or the Lakers just totally taking him out of his game, but he's basically unplayable right now. Or what about Kevon Looney? Like, I know he was sick or whatever, but this guy went from being a monster on the boards in round one, averaging 15 a game. Granted, he had a really good game one, but since then he's averaging five rebounds per and getting destroyed by the Laker big men. The Warriors need strong play from him to help their stars get extra possessions. And who else is coming off the Warriors bench? Does Jermichael Green scare you? What about Jonathan Kaminga or Dante DiVincenzo? No to all three. And the Warriors might win game five because it'll be back in the bay and their backs are against the wall, but I think this team is cooked. We might be seeing the dynasty coming to an end. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments. What do the Warriors need to do to extend this series? And what do the Lakers need to do to close it out? 
Am I crazy to think this team might actually make it to the NBA Finals? Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos I've got on this channel. Hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you next time on the Half Court Report.